the discriminant and the nature of quadratic roots. Evaluate the discriminant in each of the following equations and state what kind of roots the equation has. The discriminant, delta, is equal to b squared minus 4ac. This is the part underneath the square root sign in the quadratic formula. In question a, we have an equation 3x squared plus 5x minus 1. So a is 3, b is 5, and c, the constant term, is negative 1. Therefore, the discriminant is equal to 5 squared minus 4 times 3 by negative 1. When we evaluate this, we see that it is 37. 37 is positive, it's greater than zero. Therefore, we understand that this quadratic expression, this equation would have two distinct real roots. In the formula, we would understand this because we're plus and minus the square root of 37. So therefore, we're getting two different answers in the quadratic formula. In part b, we see that we have 49x squared plus 42x plus 9 is equal to 0. So a is 49, b is 42, and c, the constant term, is 9. The discriminant is equal to 42 squared minus 4 times 49 by 9. If we put this into the calculator, we see it's equal to 0. Therefore, in the quadratic formula, we will be getting would be at plus and minus zero now underneath the square root sign. So we only get one answer in the quadratic, or we could say we have two identical roots, or we could call it one real root, kind of. In part C, we have two x squared plus eight x plus nine is equal to zero. So here, A is two, B is 8, and C is 9. The discriminant becomes 8 squared minus 4 times 2 multiplied by 9. When we evaluate this, we see we get negative 8. Since this is less than 0, it means that in the quadratic formula, we would have the square root of negative 8. The square root of negative 8 is not a real number. It's an imaginary number. Therefore, we don't have real roots, but we would have two imaginary roots in the quadratic formula. In part D, we have 2x squared plus 7x plus 4 is equal to 0. So this time we have a is equal to 2, b is 7, and c is 4. The discriminant will be b squared, that's 7 squared, minus 4 times ac is minus 4 times 2 by 4. When we evaluate this, we get the answer 17. Since 17 is greater than 0, this would mean that we would be getting two answers in a quadratic formula, two real answers. So we get two distinct real roots.